painting the city of Twane blue. The DA kicked off with a march from Church Square to the Union buildings, sending a message of intent to the ANC government that their time is almost up. That in this election, we are in it to win it. That in this election, we must rescue the Union buildings from the clutches of a corrupt government. And we must restore them to their rightful place as a symbol of pride for all South Africans. The DA says its rescue plan for South Africa offers real solutions to the country's challenges that are crippling the economy and the livelihoods of South Africans. As the anchor tenant in a new multi-party government, the DA's key priorities during the 2024 to 2029 term will be to one, create 2 million new jobs for South Africans. <laughs> Two, to end load shedding in South Africa and end water shedding. Number three, halve the rate of violent crime, including murder, attempted murder, and gender-based violence. Four, crush corruption, by abolishing cadre deployment in favour of merit-based appointments and a capable state that delivers for all South Africans. Five, lift six million South Africans out of poverty. Six, triple the number of grade four learners who can read for meaning. And finally, seven, ensuring quality health care for all South Africans. Meanwhile, on Monday, the Constitutional Courts granted the DA access to cadre deployment records of the ANC. Now, after delaying it for more than three years following the DA's initial request for these records to be made public so that we can expose Ramaphosa's role in state capture, the ANC yesterday came crawling back to the DA and they said, please, please, we need more time. Should we give them more time? Should we give them more time? No, no. I agree with you. So I'm going to go right back to them and say to them directly, no, you cannot have more time. You cannot have more time no. in government. And you cannot have more time to hand over these records. You've wasted South Africa's time for long enough. And we're going to say to them, you will comply with the constitutional court ruling or we will make sure that all of you go to jail for the contempt of court because that's where they belong. Not in the union buildings, they belong in jail. The party's faithful now have the task of spreading its gospel to South Africans far and wide. The hope is that the message will find fertile ground to ensure a vote for the party at the ballot box. The DA believes the commitments they have made to the people of South Africa will usher them into the union buildings. For SABC, I'm Natasha Perry in Pretoria.